Hey, what's up guys? It's Atlas. Sorry this one is particularly late today, but uh, Mod Madness required a bit of a backseat for life, and AT&T saying, fuck you, you don't get internet today. But, lots of fun new mods. Let's start off with, as usual, the Synergies mod for updates. Fix some bugs with the Paladin pet and uh, affixes, like with the gems. And besides that, Lots of skill tweaking for the Warlock and Necromancer. Darren Kuyu got one of its bosses back, uh, Corvax. And uh, no more level 1 legendaries dropping. I don't think anyone's sad to see those go. Act 5 is nearing completion. In fact, we're going to jump on that as soon as he fully releases Act 5. Now, let's go into the other stuff that I've brought in. Which I am playing as my Dread Pirate. Let's get a look at him. I gave him a bit of twinking. But uh, first thing I want to show you are the rune stones. Rune stones pretty much replace your scrolls, and lordy are they useful. In fact, let me bind those. So yeah, convenient as all hell. And then the Enigma pack, which you can't really notice because it's a pack of mods. It is the largest pack of mods I have seen so far for visuals. It's meant to be played with synergy. And pretty much condenses everything you'd ever want, except for a couple things, down into one mod. So that there's no more fiascos over what specific mods everyone needs to run with multiplayer. I like this. It's big. It's nice. Convenient. You know? Now, next thing is the Evil UI Grittier Edition plus Diablo font. Which you can sort of see with all my stuff going on right here. This is nice because it just... Oh wow, the Diablo font, I guess I just need to uh, cue that higher. Note to self. But, uh, long story short, this was the only thing that the Enigma pack did not have. And uh, I liked it, so I put it back in. It looks a little nicer than the original Evil UI, so I'm okay with it. And now the thing that my uh, Dread Pirate is carrying, the Sniper Rifle. It's a new kind of shotgun that somebody made that apparently is a throwback to the old Torchlight Rifles. And it's got a slow-as-hell attack speed. However, it does a lot of damage for its level. As well, it's, it's got a crazy range on it. Like, I can hit guys at a range that I'd hit with my mid-level Theolentist, who has a lot of range buffs for his wand and stuff. And I like it because now that uh, they've put a bit more work into the Dread Pirate, which, by the way, Community Class Mod Pack has been updated now. Now I can switch between my rifle for long range, which I'm going to keep this sniper rifle because of its amazing range, and back to my uh, sorting pistol. And now this thing right here, the Rama Portal, little rift here, it's a new dungeon. The Eternal Mysteries dungeon just came out yesterday, or actually I think this morning, I'm not sure. And it takes you to a new dungeon. Wow, not even a portal. I actually haven't been here yet. That, uh, just sort of... One sec, I need to put some skill points in. Should have done that earlier. Okay, this is kind of cool. Oh, cool, it gives you uh, waypoint portals. That's actually very nice. Gonna keep that there, because you only get one go at this dungeon. Let's try Happy Times. It's scaled. Uh, what is... Maybe I... Okay, so Happy Times. It's supposed to be levels 1 through 14, but it's changeable. And oh, here we are. We are in it. It's supposed to be a custom dungeon, which I'm only going to show a bit of because we are running low on time. But this looks like there's a lot of work put into it. And a lot of blockage. Maybe we'd like these torches. Ooh. Ooh, what? Oh, oh boy, here we go. Let's see that sniper in action. Let's... Boom! Look at all that knock through. Now let's switch back. I really want to find a spot with range to show up the sniper. Because you can't really see in close groups like this. Oh, great. This is definitely going to be a challenge dungeon. I... I... Oh, hey. Is this my teleporter? Oh, this will be a good thing for the sniper rifle. I guess I have to pick that up.
you know what? I'm going to come back and do an entire different video on this. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. All mods are listed in the order I have loaded them in in this video's description. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them here. Or I am frequently on Reddit's R Torchlight, and I am making my way into the Runic forums. I will happily answer any questions about mods you have. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to figure out just what the hell I'm doing in this dungeon. See you next time, guys.